and we are live with the seventh grade Highlander football game. Um, this is a little interesting today. Uh, you got two parents of seventh grade boys um, commentating tonight, so watch what you say. To with us today is Kyle Ralsema. Hey, Brian, how's it going today? I'm hot and ready to trot, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> oh, excellent. I am Brian Greenwald. Um, and, so, and we are also both school employees, so we really have to watch what we say on air. Don't get too worked up over the happenings going on, but uh, our regular crew is actually covering volleyball today, so we are the fill-ins. So don't, I hope your expectations aren't so high for this live stream, but we will add the best color we can. Um, we're actually streaming this on two channels, the live audio version. We're going to be remote controlling our video camera, but if you do want to flip over to our other channel, that's the AI artificial uh, um, panning and zooming, so we're going to actually test that system out too. So we got two streams for a 7th grade and 8th grade football game today, Kyle. You know, if you had told me that uh, this technology was going to be available when I was, when I was their age, I, I would have laughed at you. It's something out of a sci-fi novel, isn't it? Right. Well, there's, actually, you might see some different things. I think we're going to do into 8-minute clocks, but they're going to stop the clock. Um, they do have choices. Either go a 10-minute running clock or 8-minute stop and start clock. Um, looks like Jamestown's going to be kicking off to the Highliners. You'll see three referees out there. The fourth one's actually driving bus, Kyle, so he'll be coming in. He'll just be appearing out of nowhere. Nice. All right, we got thumbs up from the coaches. Looks like we're doing a 10 minute running clock. I don't know who grabbed that ball, Kyle. Uh, it sounded like that was uh, Leighton Hendrickson, uh, fullback, uh, number 28, uh, with, with about four yards uh, pick up there. And I got two jobs. I'm actually running the camera too, so if you guys at home hate my camera work, don't email me. Nine don't minutes and at me. nine minutes and twenty seconds here. Uh, we don't have a uh, play clock, but uh, we uh, we have uh, first and ten. Let's see what the Highlanders bring out for uh, the first play of the season, Brian. Yeah, right on. I can make some predictions. <laughs> yeah, not, not, not such a bad idea with uh, wing T offense. All right, we got Hudson Creeball to quarterback. Hands it off to, was that Chase? That was Chase Coughlin with, uh, looked like two yards there. Three, no, three yard pickup. Jamestown yep. swarming to the ball. Chase, Chase runs the ball really well. Uh, uh, talking to him in class today, uh, he's a legacy running back for the Highliners. Both his uncle and his dad uh, played the position uh, over the years, so I'm sure they offered some tips and tricks before the game. I can imagine what those tips and tricks were from the Coglins. Yeah, I bet, I bet, yeah. Uh, also strong wrestling family <laughs> yes, as well. They are. Yes, they are. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he's carried the ball really well uh, uh, through the course of uh, Pee Wee football, and it's, it's nice to see him in a Highliner uniform. Absolutely. He was fun to watch in Thunder. Oh, he's so slippery. Is that our fullback? Yep, that was a handoff to Leighton Hendrickson. Looked like he picked up another uh, three, uh, four yards there. So we're uh, third and five. Okay, that's Hudson Crewald under center. Who's the center? You know, we're, we're out a couple linemen right now. Oh, for um, the flu? Yep. So I think uh, Thomas left uh, left with the flu yesterday. And that's, and and that's our typical center. Yep. yep. So uh, I don't know if they slid Owen over to center or not. Thomas, if you're home watching the stream, hope you get well. Uh, we miss you, Tom Bomb. We got wrapped up. We 
Looked like a loss of three on that one. So we've got fourth and seven for the Highliners. Get our punting unit out there. I saw Owen uh, Hunt dropping bombs for punts, so I'm assuming he's going to come out and punt one. Jamestown's got number four and dropping back. Looks like that's going to be your punt returner, number five. And I believe Owen Hunt in the back. Owen Hunt, uh, son of our uh, newly minted athletic director, Rob Hunt, with a big punt. And a big return. That, cam that camera man was way off on that punt return. That was even too fast for me. Jamestown br brings it back to uh, just a little over even. All right, let's see what the Highlanders can do on the uh, defensive side of the ball. It looks like the Jamestown ball is on their own 29. That looks correct to me. Five minutes and 35 seconds left on the clock for the first quarter. All right, let's call it some defenders here. Oh, Ooh. they drew us off sides. Looks like Jamestown's electing for a pass. Oh. oh, and almost an interception for uh, Gold Gloves. Uh, guessing that's uh, Mr. Trenton Thomas. Good coverage uh, from Trenton. Almost a pickoff. Nice aggressive play calling, though, by the Jamestown. Blue Jays. Yeah, you know, they've got a big roster. I watched them warm up a little bit, Brian, and it uh, looks like the quarterback has a pretty strong arm, and I, I think they're going to have a little bit of fun with the football today. Ooh, a nice stiff arm by number 33. Nice strong run. Drug half our team. Yeah, who had the tackle there? Looks like uh, there's a few guys in the mix. 64. 64 is Owen Hunt. Owen Hunt getting it down on both sides of the ball today. And he's running from the line over. All right, be first and goal from the nine. Three minutes, 10 seconds left in the quarter. Oh, that's gotta be a false start. Gives the Highlanders a break. We actually got some varsity, varsity uh, referees out there. Yeah, I Ryan Yanish, got Lance Lukes. Should be a well officiated game. Exactly. If you can't complain too much. No, about the nothing else. And yeah, timely, uh, timely penalty for the Highliners. This is one thing we get. Highliner Stadium Airport, just north of us. It's like a pitch to number four. Pitch to the outside. He's and cutting he back, back in. in. Yep. Wow. 
Is it me? There we go. All right, we got 145 left in the first quarter. Clock ticking. Down to about 140. Second down. Second and goal. And goal. Strong to the inside there. I'm going to zoom in. I don't think they're passing it to the right, so I'll just go out here. Looks like yeah. quarterback option. Quarterback Cuts keep. Oh, big tackle. Ten. By number 10, that's Ty Cordy. Wide receiver, wide receiver slash uh, linebacker. Seventy-eight's coming in. Who's that? For the Highlanders. Seventy-eight. That's uh, Lucas Ames. Lucas Ames Must, coming in. Uh, Barnes County North. Barnes County North kid. They bus in every day. Uh, a lot of dedication from that group. Yeah, we need their guys. Get about three or four of them in just in this group. Oh, fumble snap, and he makes it work. Oh, it big stop. All right, we got four. Big stop by, looks like a couple guys in there. Looks like Ty Cordy was in on that one again. Okay, fourth and goal. Let's see what the Blue Jades do with this scenario. Line up at the end of the quarter. Actually, we'll be switching sides with a score zero to zero. Be the start of the second quarter, all the way down at this end of the field. We're live, and that was the end of our quarter break. Jamestown huddled up on their wrong 20, so they're running. Uh, hoping for a big goal line stand from the Highliners yeah, here. We, we do have some drama here. We got two yards, fourth and goal. They did not send out the field goal team. So they are going to, what, punch this right through the middle? They're going to, I think they're going to try for a short yardage play, play. I'm guessing probably a wedge type of thing. We'll see what they uh, they plan on doing it'd here. It would be pretty cool if they called a little pass over the top, but I don't think that's happening. And they just walked it right in behind their big offensive lineman, number 90. 94. Four. That kid gets game ball for this drive. Right there. They walked it right through that guy. All right, it was a long drive. Was that like almost a whole quarter? Yep, yep. And they, they, they started with the ball on the... Oh, after you know, a really nice punt return. Yeah, after a really nice punt return on, at the, you know, 30... 34 yard line, I think it was, and it's kind of the downside. It in seventh grade when you can have a booming kicker launch a punt, it gives their whole team time to all right, let's run it back. Yep, yeah, they got to spread out a little bit there, and yeah, they got they did they a really good job of bringing it to the outside, and and uh, they had blockers out front, and yep. they got time to set up their return. Looks like we jumped offside. Owen Hunt's coming out of the game. I think he jumped. So they're giving him a breather. He plays both sides. Probably the most important lineman on both sides of the ball. He's going to have to deal with a lot from these big Jamestown players. So they're giving him a single break. Wow. Oh, so he just stiff arm twice. And, uh, oh, he slipped again. And he punched it in. That was Parker with that at him in the backfield. Twice, yeah. And you know what? <laughs> My camera was, this is what you get when you get a distracted parent running camera. So that second effort, that third effort, that fourth effort. Sorry, Jamestown kid, if you're going to go back and watch this video, I don't think I got it. Hey, it's going to be on the other stream, though, if you want to watch that one. All right. Score is eight to nothing. Eight minutes left, running clock. So by the time they get the ball, it'll be about seven minutes. Yeah, Lance Lukes, Brian Yanish, and looks like uh, Matt Brownwald 
Oh, yeah. Highline graduate. And then we have a mysterious fourth showing up in a little bit. All right. Jamestown's getting ready to kick off the ball. He's setting the football. Must have got blown over in the wind. And it looks like we got, what, Parker back there? Parker, Ty, and Chase. Three speed skill kids. It's not going to quite make it there, though. It's going to make it two. Ty, Ty Cordy's Cordy. got it. Big oh, stiff arm from Ty. There we go. Nice run back. Brings it into the 39-yard line. All right. Half the, half the fans are excited about that run back. We get some good opening field position. For the Highliners, first down at the 39. Coming up right after this game is an eighth grade game. We'll just leave the stream running for those of you that want to watch that. You can watch yeah, the workout. I guess a few of these seventh graders will get double duty uh, for that eighth grade game as well. For sure. They They're uh, pretty short and it looks like a little banged up. You're right. Okay, that's the fullback. Big run by Leighton Hendrickson. Looked like he picked up six yards there. We ran a little trick. Are you faking it to, is that 35 on an end around? Somebody yep. Yeah, I think they. Uh... <laughs> Jamestown, of course, is a machine, a football machine there. They win at the varsity level. They win at every level. So reigning, reigning state champions. Yep. Yep. They uh, went undefeated last year, did they not? So it was a tough first matchup against Jamestown, but at least we get them out of the way. Hudson under center, hands off to the fullback again with a good stiff arm. He just got drugged down by number 40. And 34 from Jamestown on the tackle. Picked up a couple yards though. Now we got what third and three? Yeah, we're slow and steady. You know, haven't made uh, any big yard plays here, but hey, we're already at midfield, so this is four down territory too. Yeah. So really, we got there's no way we're punting the ball, right? Where yeah. we should be all right. Yeah. Pick up three yards here, and we'll be just fine. Keep marching it down. All right, time out. Coach Tom Milbrandt wants to talk about it. Or we might have an injured player. Fullback, number 28, Leighton Hendrickson is coming out of the game. He obviously took a strong, strong shot. He's a tough, tough kid. Yep. Big kid, great all-around athlete, wrestler, baseball player, plays a little bit of everything. So yeah, if he's down, you know it's uh, there's a reason for it. Yep. We do have our athletic trainer here on staff, Mike Callahan, through Essentia Health, who is also the sponsor of this video stream. Thank you, Essentia Health. He's standing up. Looks like he's uh, he's okay here. Maybe he'll sit out a a play here and get right back in there. That might have been an injury timeout or just a regular timeout. Probably just a regular timeout. They coached him up. All right, Hudson Crewell gets under center. Looks like they brought uh, Trent Thomas in. Oh, it looks Parker gets tripped up from yeah. behind. And, uh, yeah, move Parker to the uh, fullback position. Jamestown with a good little ankle tackle there to break what would have been a first down. Kid got in the backfield fast. 
Okay, it'll be fourth and three. We are in four down territory. What are we drawing up? End around, try to get to the end. I'd, yeah. fi I'd fake a handoff and throw it over there, lineman. I gotta try something. I mean, Hudson's got a good arm and watching them pass in practice, you know, it seems like it's an option. Parker's in the backfield. Chase Coglin's in the backfield. Ty, Ty Cordy, or is Trenton back there? I think that's Trent. No, it is Ty Cordy. Good lead block. Oh, oh just almost. Just almost got it. through there. Chase Coglin on the carry. And turnover on downs. Jamestown gets it with two minutes and 44 seconds left in the quarter. Unless they hurry, unless they hurry, this game will go into halftime, eight nothing. Jamestown's offense sets up. Valley City looks like a similar defense. Their center gets back to say, all right, I see something that we might be able to do here to the quarterback. Looks like they have a different quarterback. 14, huh? maybe that was the same guy. Oh, we might have a recovery here, Brian. Yeah, we do. <clears throat> wow, we are not going into the half 8-0. Who is, comes out of that pile? Owen? Yeah, Owen Hunt picks it up. He does a lot. He punts the ball. He fumbles, recovers. He blocks. He takes up a lot of room on the line. Yeah. And uh, pretty mobile for a big man. All right. They just switched footballs. They brought in the deflated football, so it looks like we're going to be throwing the ball. We got a minute 34. They clock the st they stop the clock and the turnover, so it's going to be a minute 34. Looks like it's a rollout pass play. He gets struck down to the backfield. We had some guys out there. Yep. They had half their defense back out there, too. Hey, that's good. They called something fun. Yep. Like to see it. Clock's running. We got a minute left. So we second and 16. What are the chances they go for it on the other side? What does that mean? Well, just <laughs> open it up to the oh yes, open yes. it up to the strong roll, side. Roll, yeah. roll out to the strong yeah. side. Roll out to the strong side. What if they can get somebody free? I just say throw it. <laughs> okay, it's hand off to Parker. Who jukes. Oh, this could be good. Nice run. That gets almost 10 yards on the run, 11 yards on that run. So that's the Highliners' longest play of the game. That's Parker Elsima. Hockey player, baseball player, all around good guy. And it's third and four. Third and three. Third and a long three. We're not gonna get there. We're gonna end the half. All right. Down by eight. There's your halftime score. Eight zero. All right. And on that positive, solid note of that good run, um, it looks like they are going to get the ball to start the second half. And we are going to mute ourselves and take a break. All right.
right, Highlanders kicking off. We are back. Got a sunny, beautiful Highline, Highliner country. You don't get views like this in Jamestown. Just saying, Jamestown. <laughs> you might be beating us, but you don't have this view. Leighton, Leighton Hendrickson's back in. All right, we got uh, Owen Hunt with the kick off. Takes a fun bounce. And hey, he was kneeling down when he picked that ball up, so it was a small mistake. Parker Olsema gets there anyway to make sure he stays down. And the defense comes out. Yep. That looks like a similar defense to the first defense that we had. Yep. I, can't cap, I can't keep track of most of these kids. We'll, we'll see if we can hold them here and get the ball back a little bit quicker. And another, another turnover would be really nice for us. At least they're not Good coming, field. Yeah, at least I mean, not coming up with great field position yeah, this no, time. They're, what are we sitting at there, the 26-yard uh, line? Yep, 26-yard line. Jamestown's huddling back. We've got to bring it 74. Oh, it's a oh, passing boy. play with Roll the lefty up. quarterback. That was a great play. Big to run. Start the first half for the second half. And then James Tubman line up for two. Everybody on both sides of the ball had to run a long way. Because so even even the linemen were running <laughs> like something like they were going to catch them. 74 <laughs> yards on a 12-year-old frame is uh, it's a long ways. I wouldn't have made it that far, Brian. No, I'd have, stopped. I'd have given up <laughs> at the 50. Okay, they're lining up. Two-point conversion. Number 14 lines up. Hands it off to 33, and he goes to the edge. Gets a stiff arm, and Parker, let's go, and he does not get the two-point. Both times, both two-point conversions, Parker's deep in the backfield. It's getting there. 12-0, Jamestown. Well, the nice part about it, Valley City gets the ball with about seven minutes left. Oh, we got some time to make some noise. <laughs> Highlanders are really spread out. Yeah, I'm just kind of looking at the same. See what we, happens. We, Ty Cordy got the ball last time. And we don't have a ton of backups. I mean, you got kids playing in the whole game here. All right, so here's Jamestown's kick. Oh, it goes to midfield again. Leighton Hendrickson, is that Leighton back? Yep, that's Leighton again. All right, that's our fullback. Really nice little slip and oh, spin he's move. breaking tackles. They can't take him down. This is funny. And they offer him. What a run pack. 50, <laughs> like, 52 yard line. That was awesome, Leighton. Good job. That's great field position to start I mean, with here. Run out, what was the run after contact, first contact? Oh, I he think he picked it up at the 30, 30 yard line, so he picked up it, 22 yards on that. And his first that. hit was like, what, at the 35? So. Yeah, yeah. He, he, was he went pretty much the yards. whole way. <laughs> Leighton pinball Hendrickson. I like it. That was great. You don't see often, you don't see a big man with moves like that, but he's smooth. He is, he's big. That's, that's how he is for baseball, too. Big, big, sweet swing. You know, it, it comes easy and natural to him, and, and uh, yeah, just an athlete. Making athletic plays. All right, let's see what they do. First down, Highliners at the 52. Oh, at the 48, at the 48. A 
good view right down. It's like a pass play. Actually, it's an end around run. And he gets drugged down for a two yard loss. They are just in the backfield. Well coached. right down Broadway here. Pretty well takes it under center. Hands it off. Oh, Parker slips a couple tackles. Slips three, four tackles, and he gets piled on. He's still on his feet. They did not take him down. Again, I get all wrapped up at actually watching the game, and I get terrible camera work. Good job, Parker. Parker now with two 10 plus yard carries. Actually, that was probably looks like nine yards. It'll be third down with four. Is it a long three? Third down, a long three for the Highliners. Again, in four down territory. Hendrickson back in the backfield. Okay, must be a timeout. Timeout Highliners with three minutes, 37 seconds. The score 12-0. Highliners are moving the ball. Third down, a long three. On the 42-yard line. We have a special guest in the booth today, Mr. Winnie Hendrickson. <laughs> Little brother of our fullback, number 28, Layton Hendrickson, who just had that nice run. Yeah, and he's eating Skittles or eating Starburst. And eating Starburst and playing with his eating Starburst and playing with his Chicago Bears football coach Matthias will be really happy to see that. Yes. The hey, wave to the fans. You were on TV, the five, Winnie. The five win Bears. <laughs> Give him thumbs baby. up, buddy. Give him thumbs up. There you go. All right, let's see what kind of plan the Highliners have. There's a 100% chance he found that football. Oh, Ross, Ross Powell just texted. <laughs> he says we need to add five seconds to the play clock. <laughs> I don't think they're doing it. Oh my gosh, that is great. A lot of trickery and he is gone. I got a camera, I got a camera. All right, I actually, good job, Parker. That was actually really some awesome trickery by Highlanders running everywhere. Who's, I didn't even know who's getting the ball on that one. I don't know if they did, Brian. <laughs> Hudson, who's this? Here you go, here you go, fake, psych, psych. Okay, I'll give it to you. Let's go. Great play call, Highliner coaches. Got us a first down at the 22-yard line. We're, we're threatening. It'd be nice to get their first touchdown of the year against the Jamestown Blue Jays. That would be huge. Yeah, tough test right out of the gate. And, you know, the boys, uh, you know, started off a little slow, and they're, they're responding here in the second, second half. Parker again. Get it. Oh, oh my God, I got carried away there. Good job, Parker. Parker moves the chains again. All right, we're kind of in a groove now. We're in a groove. Keep feeding him. Now you're really setting up some misdirection with Parker, though, too. And we got a lot of other good skill players. It's not that we just have to give it to Parker. We can give it to... 
two or three more kids that would just do well. Also. I wouldn't mind seeing a little uh, a little roll out into the end zone here. We'll see. See if Hudson's looking for it. Parker's in the backfield. Chase Coglin in motion. Chase gets oh, the ball. Oh, cut in. Cool. Nice stiff arm. Nice roll. Good run. Good run. Picked up five. Looks like five on that. Again, fake to Parker. Yep. Sounds like the Jamestown coach isn't too happy about that one. Man, this on-field mic's great, Brian. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's too good. <laughs> I gotta turn way down, too. If I turn that up, we would hear everything. All right, let's punch it in, Highlanders. Second down. Second and six. Get you a nice tight, tight view here. All right, puts and puts ahead for a couple three, maybe a couple. Nice wedge play. So now it's going to be third and two, third and three. I might just go right back to that if I was Coach Milbrandt. Their old line can get a push. We've got nine seconds. Oh no, they've got more than that. Ball Six just, seconds, five seconds. Now we're I just gonna, he's, we're he's gonna going to go in the fourth quarter with uh, yep, coach has got, third and three. Coach has got quarterback at the... And they'll switch end zones, they'll switch sides. We're going to go on mute. See you in the fourth quarter. All right, not to lose any action here. I almost fell asleep. Camera angle in. We got a fresh 10 minutes on the clock. Hudson hands off to Parker. Sticks a stiff arm, and I think he sneaks in there. Oh my God, I gotta be better. He got a touchdown. And Parker's wound up. Hudson's wound up. And we got a touchdown. So let's make a two point conversion. <laughs> make this a game. Yeah, that'd be nice. I mean, we're going to get him the ball back, a big defensive stop. Hey, anything can happen at this point, right? 86 degrees on the uh, Apple Watch today, Brian. It's a good thing there's a little breeze. That hey, uh, in the shade. Everybody, actually, everybody's almost in the shade. Yeah, it's, uh, we have a nice setup here at Hannah Field. All right, Hudson under center. Parker's in the backfield. And it's given to Parker. And, and he never, punches never, it. Never, and he punches it in. All right, eight points. We got a cowbell. I don't know who that is, but we got cowbell here. That's a hot mic, Mr. Sakura. I don't know if you want to sit too close to me. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a special, another special guest in the booth here, Mr. Sakura. Uh, it's a son of, or the the father of uh, Andrew Sakura. He'll be playing in the eighth grade game in in just a just a few minutes. Well, good afternoon. Weather's good. Weather's been <laughs> great. We were just talking about that. Uh, fans are sitting in the nice shade, and we have a little breeze to cool us off. I'll take this any day of the week. You know, a little little known fact about uh, Sakura is he used to be a Blue Jay. I knew that. That that is it is a little known fact, but uh, you know, as far as uh, Valley City uh, trivia is concerned, I, I was aware of that one. Yeah, his boys are true Highlanders. Yes, we're true Highlanders. Those oldest son Zach is an absolute animal in everything he does too. Oh, so he does bleed blue. Yep, coming off a big varsity win on Friday against Turtle Mountain. I don't know when the last time we beat Turtle Mountain was. Well, we played them last year. We beat them last year? Yeah. So it was last year. Mountain. Last time we played Turtle Mountain, we beat them. <laughs> All right, big Owen Hunt back. Nice 
Oh, well, that's going to be a tricky kickoff. Parker gets in the backfield and it ends up 28 finishes it. That's Leighton Hendrickson again, coming up with some big plays. And uh, yeah, I mean, you got to be happy with that field position if you're the Highliners. Yep, it was good kickoff coverage. Yeah. We'll see if uh, see if 14 goes back with the rifle here and see if they can't come up with a big another big play. See if we can't stop it. I did notice uh, earlier that 14 looked right at his receiver. He telegraphed that throw uh, pretty uh, pretty well, Brian. Oh, on that long 75-yard touchdown? Yep. So we'll see if he gives his receiver another look here. Well, and it's going to keep our cornerbacks on their toes now, too. I mean, they don't. They probably don't get passed at a lot, well, ever. Jamestown's known for uh, throwing the ball quite a bit. Seventh grade and eighth grade, so that's uh, unexpected. This is a different quarterback. They've they've uh, they switched to uh, looks like uh, number four uh, in the Wildcat formation. Okay. So it was 14. Yep. Now have they taken him out of the game? 14's on the sidelines. Uh, he might. Uh, no way. He's playing six quarters. He wouldn't be playing eighth grade. They probably have enough for eighth grade. Oh, that's yeah, they their brought, eighth grade? They brought three buses, it looks oh, like. Oh, my goodness. Trust me, Jamestown's got a lot of <laughs> Another one? That's it. Center started to snap the ball, but then he hung on to it. Another false start. All right, well. <laughs> this, is a, this is kind of a, a time where... You're hoping the whole we have a hometown clock operator. Running inside seven minutes here. My formation, handoff to thirty-three. They cut back. And a big stop. The initial contact was I think made by number 10, Ty Cordy, middle linebacker. I think 34, that's Chase his, Coughlin, was in on that tackle yeah, as well. Yeah, that's, uh, uh, that's Ty's third third big tackle of the game. Getting it done on defense yeah, him today. And, him and Chase always get their nose in there. They're going to make sure they get everybody. All right. And Looks it's like a pass play. Ooh, he spins. Jukes. Well, we had good coverage. They yeah, picked, picked up maybe up, three. I think they picked up, yeah, both three it looked like. So it would be third and 12. Yep. It looked a little bit worse than I thought it was there. I thought if he threw the ball, the guy was kind of open there early. Yeah, that five was wide open out in the flat. Making a switch here, Ian King. Uh, going in on the line. Might not be the biggest linebacker or biggest uh, biggest lineman we have, but he's definitely the one with the biggest heart. And look at that. Ian King, Ian King on the tackle. You called it. He gets up and he's pretty pumped. Yeah. Yeah, they... I don't know if they call him Little Lion Man, but they should. I call him Young King in my class. Look at that. That's great. Uh, he's scrappy. Plays third base in the summer. Always covered in dirt by the end of the game. <laughs> it's a heart and soul yeah, kid. He's still beside himself out there. He's like, all right, I'm going to make another one. Yeah, he's feeling it for sure. That's cool. Four minutes, 30 seconds, seconds left. Looks like a punt. No, can't rush the punter. But you can return it. Get going, all right. Good tackle by number 33. That was a really, that's probably an open field tackle. Because if you don't make that tackle, Parker's gone. Good tackle by number 33. And a great return by Parker Ralston on number seven. I'm not used to the bounce. 
the Bills reminds me of a South Dakota State University. Oh boy. There's not too many Jackrabbit fans in this part of the country. <laughs> Three minutes and 40 seconds left here. And the, we got all of our timeouts. And there it is, the timeout. All right. Called by the White Hat himself, Mr. Lance Lukes. All right, we're going on mute. All right, we're back. After that timeout, 3 minutes 39 seconds on the clock. Highliner is 8, Jamestown 12. If I have to guess, that ball's going to Leighton Hendrickson. I'm just taking a wild guess, Brian. It is, no, it's a oh, pass. Oh, it's a pass. There it is. And it went to hit Leighton Hendrickson. Yep, it did. But that fooled me. That was a great fake handoff. Yeah, and he was getting pressure too. Somebody was on him. What did we pick up there, 4 yards? No. Seven. That's a big passing play. Down to the 25. Yeah, with three minutes and ten seconds left. If they punch it in, game's over. We kick a field goal. Yeah, we could kick a field goal. I don't know. Owen, Owen's been stroking the ball pretty well. Yeah. yeah. All right, we got Leighton in the backfield again. Parker wide left. Chase wide right. And that one is handed off to our big fullback. Looked like he picked up two on that. Uh, maybe a one, huh? It'll be third down regardless. Picked up one, third down and two. Strong side sweep to chase here. I'm just making some predictions. We'll see what happens. Got Parker in the backfield. Chase in motion. It actually goes to Ty Cordy. We were all fooled except for them. So we went weak side. Lost for uh, lost for a yard there. Yep, we went weak side. They weren't tricked on that. So we got a big fourth down play here. Fourth down play, and you you gotta you gotta keep it here, right? You gotta try. Minute thirty. Time out. We'll talk about it. And we were gonna talk about it on mute. All right, off mute, and we are back. A big fourth down play. Fourth and two. Let's see what they cooked up in their timeout. I'm going to get a tight view here. Got Parker also in the backfield. Chase motion. Dang. They were back there. They had a good rush. Well, that's all right. Game's not over. I mean, we got a, got a chance to recover a ball here and see what happens. Onto the ball is the advice from some parent. Because that's really all they need to do is hang on to the ball with a minute 22 left. Jamestown calls a timeout. Are they are just going to go in victory formation at this end of the field?
it is only 5.30, actually. Yeah, so we, our game time is we, we've had played a... We started at 4.30? Yep. All right, we did yep. play an hour. All right. Kept it moving along quick this afternoon. Yeah, we did. All right, we got Ian King back on the line. And Owen Hunt in the backfield. Leg tackle, he's everywhere. Good job. Hey, we got a timeout, Highliners. Do we have enough of these to actually get the ball back? No, I think that's our last timeout. All right. Yeah, you're right, it's like second down. We got a long way to go. Jamestown coach comes out to say, just hold on to the ball. Highlanders did a lot of good things today. We had They had one big play that was a backbreaker. We held them on two two-point conversions. We didn't have any fumbles. We didn't have any interceptions. No, yeah, 74-yard 70, pass. I mean, that, that doesn't happen every day in, uh, in uh, seventh, seventh grade, grade football, yep. right? So, um, you know, something to learn from for sure. You know, a lot of these kids haven't really seen a lot of the pass game. No, you don't pass a lot in PB football. Nope. All right, I'm going to go tight here. Looks like the number four is back. And it's going to be a keeper. <laughs> well, we did get him. Is that the same kid that caught the pass for the long touchdown? No, I don't think so. That was uh, that was their backup quarterback, but they had him in there. Yeah, that's that number four again. So that was on a keeper. He rolled out like he was going to throw and didn't. Oh, Ty's puking. Oh, he just had a 65-yard yeah. run. No, and, and uh, not something to be alarmed about. Ty, Ty does this uh, pretty frequently. Yeah. That's, that's, uh, he brings a bag onto the bench uh, every game for hockey, so it's just something, something that he does. It's, it's all right. He's okay out there, folks. Brown runs out in the field. Looks like number 11, Alexander Kamstra, is coming off a little hobble. Holding his knee. All right, goal line stance with 12 seconds left. See what happens. Number four is a quarterback. Gets the ball and kneels it down to show a little sportsmanship. I'm sure the Jamestown parents are thinking they wanted to punch another one in. But everybody who had Highliners plus six at the sports books are happy. Good game, yep. seventh grade. Yep, seventh grade on both sides of the ball. All right, we're going to take a break and let the streams keep running for uh, some eighth grade action in about 15 minutes.